Ten toes down on my ride with the gang My whole life I've been doing my thing Get that money, ain't no thing Anything I do, I do for the gang Ten toes down on my ride with the gang Okay, I'm running late. What's new? I'm gonna go ahead and take this braid down so it can be flowy. I have a chemistry midterm, number two. It's not even midterm week anymore because midterm week is week five and we're nearing the end of week eight. So please explain to me how my chemistry professor is like on crack. But I was rushing so bad this morning, even though I don't really have to go to my physics lecture. I mean, I have to go, but the main reason I'm going now is so that I know I'll study for chemistry and physics. Like I'll know I'll get some studying done, which is the only reason I'm going to class right now which sounds bad it kind of is but oh well but yeah i didn't have time to show you me getting ready or anything like that i don't even know if i like my hair oh i also went against my beliefs a little bit okay so if you know me you know that on exam day like midterms finals any type of test that i'm taking i wear baggy clothing it's just something i have to do and so i'm not doing that today well partially i'm wearing ripped jeans like really ripped jeans and a hoodie and sneakers so i'm not in joggers which is so shocking to me personally but i figured i go into my midterms wearing baggy clothing just feeling like a bum what if i go into my midterm like dress kind of cute like i put some effort into what i'm wearing and it radiates positive energy good vibes so on my test i get positive feedback like good energy is just being put out into the world and my hoodie is like a smiley face on it it's yellow happy color it says do what makes you happy so i figured that was gonna be the vibe for today so that's what i went with but i will definitely show you my outfit when i actually get to campus because right now i'm focusing on the road i'm kind of upset because these are my favorite pair of ripped jeans and someone took them out of the washing machine and put them in the dryer it was not me someone did it and they shrunk a little bit so now they're not fitting the way that I am used to but it's okay because they're still wearable so that's all that matters Okay, so update. We just died inside studying for Literally. our chemistry midterm. Now we're gonna order food because I've had enough of this. I've had enough and we're ordering habit. Last time I checked, I was able to order it online. So let's hope that it actually works. Yeah. Never mind, guys, we're walking there. This <laughs> is not working. Oh, wait, I wanted to give an OOTD. So. We have my hoodie, right? The baggy hoodie. This chair is in the way. These jeans got put in the washing machine and then someone put them in the dryer. So, not you taking a picture. I need it. And so the rip is now like higher up because they're like shrunk, you know? And then we have the blazers. My hair is in a messy bun. Not by choice. I didn't really have much to work with this morning. So that's the fit. The way I'm holding my phone right now. <laughs> yeah. My. You like a beautiful day in August. I get lost in your frequency when I'm not recording. Like we could do this frequently and end up like the losses. You know that I got you like you got me every so often. I'm into your I feel really dizzy from the elevator. So we got our habit. We're in the bathroom. When I went up there to get my order, the girl said like repeated my phone number to me, the last four of my phone number. And I was like, no, that's not the number because i thought she meant order number and so i was like 1151 as the order number and she was like yeah that's your phone number <laughs> that, that i just read out and she made me feel so stupid and now i'm gonna be thinking about that during my exam can i just show you how dirty they did me by making me look like i'm eating for five different people <laughs> this is the big giant bag they gave me for fries and a sandwich that's that's what, <laughs> that's what they gave me <laughs> It's hydrogen. They're both hydrogens. So let's say we are going to get a double bond. 
so okay. It. Uh, <laughs> me. <laughs> yep. Okay. Major. Tertiary. What? Or tri substituted. What language are you speaking? <laughs> Chemistry is a foreign language. But again, how. Como se diz? Como se diz? I'm just failing an exam. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot to say no. Tomato. And pickle. Stop. You don't like pickles? They put it on the last end, did they not? No, because I took it oh. off, but I forgot to do like the custom with it. Oh, boy. That's disgusting. It's like a Chick fil A sandwich. Yeah. The number one meal, no pickles. Oh my god. It's just like, what should I invest in? Should you don't need a camera light to show off your perfection. Standing in a mirror like, damn, that ass is cuffing in those jeans, and I'm genuine. Now I got you blushing. But understand without you, girl. I'm... Wish your car's air freshener didn't start so strong. Don't breathe. Too soon. <laughs> la, 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 la. What are you about to do? The major products. Oh, now I have to write good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in there. Oh, you no. don't have to write good. <laughs> Writes the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> like, I legitimately, we just drew with that. That means the exact same thing. Yeah. Okay. Have a moment like this. My final moment. <laughs> How are we feeling? Pickups for an hour. She was about to die. She was about to die. To me. Yeah, Back baby. to you. What about me? Listen, here's the offer. You can get. No, not yet. You, we, you can get. You can have a green live tree. Or you can do your own thing. We have a white tree that's going right there. It's right behind the door if you want to see it. Yeah, it's four feet tall. What about the bugs? They're like sil silver and blue. We can do the same thing we did last year. Y'all want to put that up? Yes. I got us a discount on a cool tree, but I quit. <laughs> Good morning. It's Friday. It's leg day, right? Right. It's nine. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I usually like to leave my house at 9.30, yet I'm not dressed for the gym. And I haven't eaten yet. I have a nice bowl of oatmeal and I made three slices of turkey bacon. I'm gonna down this, watch some Abbott Elementary because the new episode came out. We'll go from there. We'll see what time I actually end up leaving my house today. It's now 9.27, so I'm closer to being out the door than the last time I spoke to you. I'm just throwing together the last few things in my gym bag before I leave. And then I'll show you my outfit, of course. It's really kind of basic today. Every day is kind of basic. I don't know what I'm talking about, but. Oh wait, I wanna put on my knee pads. Where are my knee pads? Yes. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I killed a cricket on one of my knee pads. And I don't know which one, so now my knee is going to touch where a dead cricket was. And that kind of traumatizes me a little bit, but I don't have time to care. I'm a big girl. There's been this one spot on my shoe for months now, and I know that if I actually tried to like clean it, like take it off, it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm just a little lazy, you know? It adds character to the shoe for sure. The type of gym bag that I take depends on what kind of gym day I'm having. If it's anything other than glutes and hamstrings, I'm going to take my little small looking gym bag by Gymshark. If it's glutes and hamstrings, I'm taking this drawstring one because I need to put my barbell pad in there and it doesn't fit obviously in the other one. And then I'm also gonna take these. I don't really know if I wanna take my lifting gloves. I, I stopped using them for like a month and I have calluses on my hand for sure. And I kind of was like, I need to build up my grip, you know, but now I don't really care. Also, if you can hear my dryer going in the background, I am so sorry about that. This is the other gym bag by Gymshark and it has a little slot for your phone, which is like still, you're able to touch your phone through here. But with all that being said, I'm going to transfer my lifting gloves to today's bag. I don't exactly know what I want my hair to do today. I don't know if I want to just keep it in this one big ponytail or do like kind of a lazy bun, like how I did yesterday where I just didn't finish pulling all my hair through the ponytail. 
but I need to wash my hair so bad, okay? It smells a little bit like gym, a little bit now musty, but I braided this one. This is like my piece de resistance, you know, Mwah. braid, like it adds flavor to me. So I would typically like put this in a ponytail, leave this out like how I did yesterday, but I have to go, I don't have to go, but I'm going to a basketball game at my old high school today, later tonight, basically. And I want this one to be fresh. So I braided it back up, which means that I can't just have this down because that looks kind of stupid. So I think I'm just gonna maybe do like a lazy run, something like that. I can't see it, but I'm gonna trust that it looks okay. Little quick outfit. This is a hoodie that I got from Pink. I feel like I was in middle school when I got this, to be honest. So many, many years ago. And then it just has like holes. I wanted something with a little bit of airflow. I just have this Gymshark sports bra on with this kind of like pattern going with it. My new all time favorite pairs of biking shorts, which are just the like butterfly, I think, biking shorts by Gymshark. They look like this and they feel like butter. And then I just have like my black Gymshark socks on and my blazers, so. Somebody's telling me this is gonna be a difficult day for me, just for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some pre-workout started. I would usually take a banana to have on my drive over there. They're not ripe yet and I don't really like green bananas. So, you know, not the vibe. I'm using the Alani New pre-workout in the witch's brew flavor the limited edition halloweenish type flavor and it legitimately smells like caramel apple so i definitely grabbed this when it came back in stock and i grabbed 24 packs of the cans of pre-workout energy drink if you didn't see that vlog go check it out it's now 9 38 so i'm obviously not where i wanted to be but it's fine that was not closed all the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go. I've arrived at 10 o'clock, so not too bad. And my pre-workout is freaking kicking in already. I got all the good tingles. At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact Instead of assuming the words, girl, I'm just here stating facts You want me to take you back, I want you to take me back You want me to take you back, I want you to take me back So tell me, is you gon' ride out when the chips fall? I seen too many people leave when it get hot I'm tired of going back and forth when we pissed off Most of my friends don't went through it and they stood tall See, they gon' try and tell you what they think is good for you Whole time they was plotting, man, I wish they was for you You gotta watch your back, your front, your side, they disloyal I gotta watch my crown, cause from birth I've been royal And that's from the sun Yeah We're back home. It's detail Friday, so time to clean my car. just ate a little lunch but now i want to make a protein shake with my ghost peanut butter nutter butter protein powder i saw a comment underneath my video and it said something along the lines of this person almost had a heart attack because they told me to make a protein shake and all i did was add the protein powder the protein powder milk ice that was it and then i added like boba to it and they're like no banana like no no oats in there sweetheart none of those came into my mind when making the the shake at all so i tried it i can't respond to the comment or see the comment anymore i got a notification 
to where I saw it, but as far as it being actually under the video, it's no longer there. So I don't know if YouTube deleted it or if you deleted it, but if you see this and that was your comment, no, I saw it. And the next time I made it, I added oats and a banana, like you said. I really like the banana in there. I will never add oats to my shape because I don't know if I did it wrong, but it was so powdery and I just don't think the blender was able to blend it up the way I would have liked it. So it's a no for me on the oats, but the banana though, we're gonna go with the banana. So I started adding that to my shape. Do I know what it does? No. Do I need to know? No, it's fine. What it is, ho what's up? I've been, I don't know what the challenge is called on TikTok, but I've been trying to learn that dance. I've legit been trying to learn it, okay? Like no, no joke, but it's so complicated. And it, how does it start? Oh, it's like the ee, 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 ee. And then it's like, what it is, ho what's up? <laughs> some, some here pop. What comes after that? See, I don't even know. Oh, it's the wiggle there. Fight that hoe. I don't know. Since I don't have classes on Friday, it's supposed to be the day that I like bust out all my homework and I have a history essay due on Sunday. The only thing I've done for that is read the instructions about three times. That's literally it. And I'm going to a game tonight, so I don't really think I'm gonna get much done in a couple hours. So this will probably just be like a rest day, you know? No homework Friday. I'm here for it. Cheers. Good morning. I'm eating a banana. You can see that. Why did I say that? That was so dumb. I'm sorry. Um. I didn't, em I, stop. I didn't end up going to the basketball game last night because surprise, surprise, my friend canceled on me. I mean, at this point, I should really just see this thing coming. Like, it's just every single time, every single time. But you know what? It's fine. I was really tired, but like I had already blocked out time in my day. If I would have known that it was going to be canceled, for sure, I would have actually started on my homework. Like I could have washed my hair. I've been putting off washing my hair for the longest time now and I, I had all day to do it, but I wouldn't have been done by the time I needed to go get ready for the basketball game. So I wasted a whole day and that's what I like. Sometimes I really don't like having long thick hair and there might be a point in time where I like look back at this video because I've shaved off all my hair and I'm like wow that was really dumb of you but it's like when I say a wash day it's legitimately the whole day sometimes and it's so frustrating because one just having long hair as a black woman like I had to put up with so much crap going growing up I went to a PWI predominantly white institution right so high school majority all white people anytime I would flat iron my hair they'd be like oh my gosh is that a wave like they'd scream it out to like I don't know try to do something try to invoke like some rage i don't know what their game plan was but no this is all my real hair like black women can have long hair too like and it'd be some of the white people that put extensions in their hair and i'm like i don't even know how to do that i don't know how people add fake hair to their hair so it's just really frustrating when i have to plan my whole life it feels like around my hair only for my hair not to cooperate with me half of the time i also feel like when your hair is longer and thicker you have limited styles that you can do and there's not a lot of representation over youtube that i've seen personally because it's always like the 4c or the type 3 hair and i'm like like what about 4b but it's just so frustrating. The amount of times I've cried over my hair. It's so, you always want what you don't have. And then once you get it, you want your old way back. So I know one day, hopefully I'm going to learn to love the hair that's under here. But right now it's kind of just frustrating. And the fact that people don't understand that I have to plan my whole life around my hair because all my friends have like short or long, just straight hair that they could just brush through. Ah, it's so frustrating. Like I genuinely, I don't have black friends. Like I have one friend that I talk to almost every day and she's black, like she's mixed. So her hair is type three. So like, e like it's still not the same struggles. Like I just, I want someone who gets me. Like when is that person walking into my life? I'm here, I'm waiting patiently. But like, when does, when is it my turn to be buddy buddy with someone that like just understands, you know? Okay, that's enough for my hair rant. I'm going to attempt to do a wash and go. I have eco styler gel and I want to see what happens if I 
put it in my hair and try to like rock my natural curls because that's something I haven't done in a year or two I don't know like and actually intend to wear it out in public so that's the game plan it's what time is it? It's 8.52 right now on a Saturday. I have an Ikea package coming between the hours of 11 and 3. So if I start at 9, I might be done by the time it gets here or I might be like in the process depending on what time. But you'll see all this later so I don't really have to explain this to you. I'm gonna do my hair. <laughs> I did it, sort of. I don't know how to wrap my hair to be quite honest. So my hair is still wet and my mom's gonna take me to the mall to run errands. I look like... I look like this right now. So I don't really know what what's gonna happen to me when I step outside like this. Also, I got a couple packages that came, so I'm really excited to open those for you guys. But now I gotta go get dressed, I guess, and then see what happened here. Cause I can, like, there's no way. There's no way in hell that this is dry. My hair is still very much wet. My hair literally feels so heavy right now. I guess I'll let the rest like air dry. This is good enough. I'm not mad at it. So I look like her, yeah. like if her had a little sister that was really trying, but like she couldn't sing. You're the best part, oh. Why can't I sing? Cause that would make this a lot better. I feel like my hair got poofier. It did. Okay, that's what I didn't want to happen, but yeah. here we are. Um, we just left the mall. I didn't film anything because she had an exchange and then she walked over to Bath and Body Works and it was a crack house. Whatever. You're a part of getting, the crackhead community. I was getting some free stuff. You're a part of the crackhead community. Plus, I had to get my trade in on my earrings. I was Ooh. not about to go in there and actually film in Bath and Body Works because one, people were elbowing me. Like, there was no room. Yeah, it was crowded. One, two, they have Christmas scents out and three, they were playing Christmas music. Why are you such a grinch? I'm not, but it's it's November 19th. Like, can we let Thanksgiving happen? Can you just be thankful for what you have? At least we didn't put up the tree yet. True. Do you guys put up the tree before Thanksgiving or like right after Thanksgiving? Let me know. I'm a person that firmly believes you need to get through Thanksgiving before you play any Christmas music. I woke up to my grandpa playing Christmas music today. Can y'all yeah. stop? <laughs> Like, it's actually irritating. But yeah, that's true. Now we're getting food because I haven't eaten anything today and it's two o'clock now, which is really bad. Yeah. But my hair got poofier. You didn't tell me that. Because I like it. I like the look. You just need to put on your sunglasses now. No. Good morning. Or let me not lie, I'm pretty sure it's like 12 o'clock. So good afternoon. So I was gonna show you this package. Oh my God, I have crumbs on my face. Lord help me. I just got through eating. I was gonna film so much more yesterday, but I had a project sort of due for history. And then at night she tells us that she pushed the due date back, so I didn't finish it and I just went to bed. But now I can show you my Gymshark package. I ordered this for their Black Friday sale. I ordered it Thursday morning. This got here Saturday morning, less than 48 hours. And it said because of like high demands and all this time, like it would take 12 days and then it was literally less than 48 hours so that was kind of cool nice surprise so i'm gonna open it up and show you what i got and i'm actually i'm genuinely excited for these pieces i only got four things but it's like what i feel are good things first i've been wanting something from their rest day collection forever so i finally got it and i wasn't sure whether or not i should get the black or the gray and I'm like, I have so many black like hoodies and like sweatpants, joggers, stuff like that. So I was like, I went and got the hoodie and I ordered a small in it because it says that it already is oversized, which I'm not sure about that now that I look at it, but we'll see when I try it on. And then the matching joggers that look like these. I have like longer legs, so I hope that these fit 
like lengthwise and that they're not too baggy on my waist. Oh, I didn't even realize how they had a drawstring on them. It's like on the on the inside part, they have a little drawstring and that is so cute. The pockets are, oh, they're not, they're not too shallow actually. I thought they were gonna be like, they're not deep, but they're, they're like average size pockets basically. Those feel really soft and comfortable. So I'm really excited about that. I got their new Elevate collection. And of course the one that like Lori Harvey looks like a freaking angel, like modeling it and stuff like that. It got me. I didn't get, there was this one color that I wanted. It was like a, I don't know if it was like white and brown marbling. I don't really know, but I got the blue and these shorts are a lot shorter than I thought they'd be. First things first, but I don't think it will be too bad. And they feel so nice. And then I got the matching long line sports bra. It has padding inside of it. It's kind of thin. Why does it smell like that? It doesn't have like the best smell to it. I don't know why, but the back just looks like this. So it shows off more of your back, but it can cover more of your front. And then it has like this little ruching in the middle. It just looks so cute. And now I cannot wait to try these on. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is what love feels like. Okay, <laughs> definitely long enough and like, oversized enough i am genuinely in love so comfortable so nice pockets deeper than i actually expected for the joggers and and they're actually long enough and still baggy i'm genuinely obsessed with these so hey so this is the elevate this looks like a one piece Ooh, look at that shape okay <laughs> So the shorts are kind of nice, right? They have the high waisted band, super soft, super comfortable. Love it. Let me talk to y'all about this top. Okay, the top, super soft, really nice. If you're in between sizes, me personally, I don't like something to be super tight, so I would size up, but like this is a small, so I would have got a medium if I knew, but it's not that bad, like it still fits okay in everything like we're chilling but putting this top on was so freaking frustrating because i usually put my tops on like one sleeve then the other sleeve no i had to go and like put both arms in first and then try to like squeeze into it it's just super hard to get on in the first place once it's on it like fits super nice super comfortable super soft and this is like longer so you could have this coming down to look like a one piece type deal or you could tuck this part in and then have it be like a shorter bra but you can definitely tuck this sports bra part in and you're chilling this makes me want to learn the tiktok dance now i changed into like some comfier clothes you know the other package i mentioned that i got the other day was from ikea and i got a big old like calyx storage unit type thing and like eight of these gray wicker baskets that i'm gonna set up today because we turned our office space into like part office part pantry style for like all our snacks and stuff like that but between my mom and i we collect a lot of snacks and a lot of just things that we want to put in our own respective spaces right now i'm gonna build that because she doesn't like building things i love to build call me breathe the builder because i anytime i can i will build something but i'm gonna show you what our pantry looks like before pantry like a makeshift thing and then hopefully we can like get it tightened up tidied up today show you guys an after this is the current setup so like everything is just piled up on top honestly there's still room in these baskets down here but it's just we don't know how to organize them because we each have different snacks and i just figured it'd be best if we got another one so we each have our own area Y'all, I already cut myself like right there. You can barely, you can barely see it, but I already cut myself like right there. Paper cuts for the win, bro. It's gonna start bleeding soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bandaid on that. We're back in business, baby. <laughs>
Okay, so the calyx is done, and these are the... I'm definitely gonna pronounce these wrong, like, Brana's. They're gray wicker baskets from Ikea, basically, and they look like this. I have eight of these to set up. I'm almost done, and I only cut myself once. The only thing with setting up these baskets, they kind of, like, poke you at times. So you gotta be careful. But other than that, they're a super cute vibe because our office is light and gray, pretty much. It just fits so perfectly. Voila. Turn you to a dog like a keto yeah. And expose to a cat like a cheetah like They smoke my partner like reef Dime lo porque o no And then you know me gente must really need Jesus They said real blood I never seen a crypt and I believe it I just got in a pretty good upper body workout Look at my my lifting gloves There's literally holes all throughout there Like this is about to open And then this side is about to open too I had to wake up early and drop off my grandpa at his friend's house To pick up his truck and then I headed to the gym, so I didn't really have time to like talk to you guys, but good morning. It's like 11 o'clock and now I'm gonna head back home. I feel like I have the busiest day today. I think this is the lowest I've ever seen my tank go. We're back in business. I'm, what is on my chin? I'm about to take a shower because one of the reasons I wore this to the gym was because it covered everything and I needed a shave. So I have to do that now because I also agreed at 3.30, it's 11.30 right now. At 3.30, I agreed to help my old basketball coach out with practice. So, so I gotta get ready for that too. I gotta eat, I gotta edit, I gotta do work, I gotta clean up around the house. Why did I agree to do You ever like agree to do something and then as soon as you agree to do it, you instantly regret it? That's, that's kind of where I'm at. One thing about me rocking this natural hair, right, is trying to figure out what to do with it. Because for the gen, I literally put it in a bun and I couldn't even fit it like going all the way through because it's too thick. And I'm just like, as soon as it dried, it got too dry and all the moisture all the moisture left it and now it's just like <sighs> i always see the girls put it in like a cute pineapple you want to see what, it's like, what it looks like if i try to put it in a pineapple this is what i have to do for like when i'm about to get in the shower though but my hair can't fit in my shower cap anymore this is my pineapple i look like a palm tree so then i have to gather this up right twist it and wrap it around i this is why i don't wear my hair just down like i I need my braids back. I need my, I need my mommy to do my cornrows again, okay? It's time to get ready for basketball practice, which I'm still kind of regretting. But you know, I'm a woman of my word. So if I say I'm gonna help out, I'm gonna help out. I'm literally just gonna throw on the same sports bra that I wore to the gym because I didn't really sweat that much and I'm about to just go work out again. So it makes sense. I've been wearing these Nike Pros underneath my basketball shorts since middle school. They definitely don't fit, but I don't play basketball enough anymore to really justify me buying more, even though I used to play all throughout high school, so I should have at that point. But I definitely, I have outgrown them. And then I've had these since like high school, like freshman year maybe. Yeah, but we're still rocking with it, you know? I'm just throwing on this like oversized, it was supposed to be oversized. I got a size small cause I thought it was gonna automatically fit oversized, but no, it's 
a basic t-shirt at this point. I'm also gonna put on my knee braces. I just washed them too, but I'm gonna put these on because I'm starting to show my age. As weird as that sounds, because I'm still young, when I'm playing with these, these younger kids, right, and helping them practice, it's the way they're just up and down court jumping, and I'm like, hold on, my knee's acting up. <laughs> So I'm definitely gonna wear my knee braces today. And especially because when I played at basketball, I was the starter and my coach made me the person that did the tip off every single game. So he knows I can jump high. So if I'm not like being a good model to these incoming freshmen and like other players, showing them how to like jump and stuff like that and putting up a fight so they can learn how to defend against good people. That not, not me calling myself good, am I? It's debatable. But so they can like kind of have an idea of taller opponents, cause I'm not tall. So me having a high jump was really beneficial official well i mean i guess i am tall but like not tall enough for me personally anyways i'm putting on the knee braces because i don't want to be outplayed today and then i'm also gonna do the black gym shark compression type socks i used to wear bass or i used to wear slides like some nike slides so i don't mess up the grip on my basketball shoes but now i don't really care so i'm just gonna put those on anyways these are my old senior year shoes coming out of retirement I'm back home 30 minutes in I freaking broke a nail at basketball practice and it was like part of my real nail too so only there's only like half of my nail bed it hurts so freaking bad and it started bleeding like everywhere so great I still played I still gave it my all you know um I'm hungry you can tell by my lips they're like freaking white my mom wanted me to cook burgers tonight and this is so painful so I was gonna see if she can do it and of course her door is closed and she's on the phone <sighs> So here I am putting my pan aside to live life. Um, and it's funny too, because last night she sent me this Instagram reel talking about people. Cause I was, I'm always, I'm the type of person that's like, I can do this by myself. Like I don't need help. I'm going to build this Ikea furniture by myself. Like I don't need help with anything I do basically. And so she sent me something that I was referring to. Oh, it's caused by trauma. People need to get out of that habit, ask for help. Also, most things I do, I can just do it better myself. So it's like, why would I ask anybody for help? When it comes to like, help me cook dinner tonight. It's like every single time I go to ask for help, people are, are either give me attitude for asking them or they're unavailable. So this is why I don't ask for help. Someone help me. We're now at the Chick-fil-A line because my mom hates cooking so much that we are now, we're now just getting Chick-fil-A until I'm all healed. Hopefully tomorrow. Let's... I said I will try to cook if your finger is not messed up tomorrow. I mean, if it's still messed up tomorrow. Yeah, but we'll see. Hi. Can I get a new video? Brie. What would you like to do? The deluxe. The hair's herring. I totally forgot that I did not end this vlog. So sorry about that. I feel like this was a very much all over the place type of video but we'll see when i actually edit it this is definitely going up after thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving or happy late thanksgiving i hope you and your family or whoever you are with just had an amazing time comment down below what you had for thanksgiving or like the best thing you ate for thanksgiving this year bye guys <laughs>